In this video, I will show how to set up and use an 8 channel logic analyzer as you see in this picture. You can buy them online and they are not expensive. Just open your favorite search engine and type Sally 8 channel 24 MHz. You will get many results with many different prices. These are all Sally Logic Analyzer clones. To use your Logic Analyzer, you will need a signal capture and analysis software. Again, open your favorite search engine and type SIGROC. And you will find SIGROC.org. I will leave a link in the description. SIGROC is a very good and free logic signal analysis software suite with many functions. At SIGROC.org, go to Downloads. And you see that SIGROC is available for Linux, Windows, Mac OS and even other operating systems. I download the 64-bit Windows version. When the download is complete, go to your Downloads folder and install Pulse View. Click Next, Next. You can take the example data, Next, and install. Now we need to install the driver for the logic analyzer. Open Device Manager, type Device, and plug in your logic analyzer. Here you see an unknown device. Now go to Start. You see PulseView is installed, and here you have another application called Zadig. Start Zadig PulseView, and this will install the driver. It can take some time. The driver has been installed, so we can close this. Now we can start PulseView. And if you get this error, please try the 32-bit version. So this is SIGROC PulseView. If everything went well, you will see your Sally Logic probe over here. It is best to connect the Logic Analyzer probe before you start SIGROC. And here are the 8 channels. Let me show you how to use SIGROC with an example. We will analyze Arduino serial communication at 2 megabits. Please connect an Arduino to the Logic Analyzer as in this schematic. The channel numbers of the label of your analyzer may not match SIGROC PulseView. In this case, channel 1 is D0 and channel 2 is D1 in PulseView. Your setup will look like this. Then compile and run this code in the Arduino, which serial prints Hello Logic Analyzer every 100 milliseconds to the serial monitor and to RxTx. You can check it in the serial monitor. Open the serial monitor. And here you see Hello Logic Analyzer appearing 10 times per second. Now let's open SIGROC. And we set the amount of samples to 5 million. And the sample frequency to 12 MHz. And we click on Run. And here you see a signal. Let's zoom in. We can use the cursors to check the timings. But you can also analyze the data with the filters. Click here. It is UART, so we select UART. Double click. And then we set up the UART filter. RX D0, TX is D1. The bout rate is 2 million. And I want to see ASCII. And here you see Hello Logic Analyzer. So that works really well and also fast at 2 megabit. Now let's take a more difficult example, the USB protocol. To capture the USB signals, 
I use a keyboard connected to a PC and connected the USB data signals to the logic analyzer. To tap the signal, I soldered a male and female USB connector together with a pin header so I can try out different keyboards. I will type a Z and an X during the signal capture and see if we can find it in the signal. When we check the USB human input device specification, we expect to find 1B for the keyboard X and 1D for the keyboard Z. Remember those two, 1B and 1D. All is connected and we start SIGROC Pulse View. I select 20 mega samples. and 24 megahertz. Then I click run and type ZX. You see a lot of communication data was captured, more than just two keystrokes. Let's open the protocol decoder and select USB packet. We set up the decoder, D plus is D1, D minus is D0, and then at stack decoder, we click on USB request and we select first acknowledged. Now let's check the result. Here you see some lines which indicate that some data was received. And here you see 1D, which is the X. Here is no data. And here you see 1B, which is the Z. Great, so we found all the letters. So we can actually tap USB signals with this logic analyzer. That is pretty amazing. I was positively surprised about the capabilities of this cheap logic analyzer. Much better than my poor man's logic analyzer from the previous video. So really value for money. If it was useful for you, please like and subscribe and leave your experiences in the comments.